Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to find out how to find the domain and the range of a parabola. Now, of course, that means we need to know what a domain is and we need to know what the range is. Here we have the definition. The domain of any graph, the domain of any function, is all the values that x can be. The range is all the values that y can be. Now, in some cases, there's no restrictions at all. Both, all. both the x and the y can be any value. It'll simply be an element of the reals, the real numbers, the real number set, I should say. Call them reals. So, in some other cases, there are definitely a limit. And in the case of a parabola, there is a limit. Now, where is the limit? Is it in the domain or is it in the range? Well, let's go look at the domain. Notice that in this case, if the coefficient in front of the first term is positive, we know the parabola opens upward, which means there's a minimum value to the parabola, which means the parabola, there can be no values below that point right here. In the case where the coefficient in front of the first term is negative, that means the parabola opens downward, that means there's a maximum value right there at the vertex, that means there can be no values above that point. But notice, here we're talking about the y-axis or the y-direction. And that, of course, is associated with the range, not with the domain. So here's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. What about in the x-axis? Is there a limit? You can see that the parabola opens upward, and of course the nature of the parabola is that it goes up faster than it goes to the side. So you can see that the y-value increases much more rapidly than the x-value to the right or the negative x-value to the left. But does that mean that there is a limit as to how far the parabola can go in the x-direction? Does that mean that if I go up far enough in, in height, in the y-direction, will the parabola keep going to the right indefinitely? In other words, will it go out to a positive infinity on the right and a negative infinity on the, infinity on the left? And the answer is yes, it will. There's no restriction at all to the x value in a parabola when it opens upward or downward, either way. And so therefore we can say, to find the domain, we can simply say this is equal to all x values such that the x values are the element of the real number set, meaning there's no restriction whatsoever. It will go all the way to a positive infinity on one side and negative infinity on the other side. So there's no restriction to the domain for parabolas. But for the y-axis, in the y-direction, the range, there is indeed a limit. In the case that it opens upward, there's a lower limit, which means that in this case, I'll just write it like over here, the range is such that it takes all the, the y values such that the y value must be greater than or equal to that minimum value. Now, what is the minimum value? That would be the y coordinate of the vertex of that particular uh, parabola. And in the case where the parabola opens downward, we have a maximum value. That means that the range in this case is equal to all the values for y such that y is less than or equal the y coordinate of the vertex of the parabola, so we can write it y sub v. And that would be the best way to express it. So in the case of domain, there's absolutely no restriction in the x direction. The, the parabola, as you go out indefinitely up high, it'll go wider and wider and wider. To the right, positive direction. To the left, negative direction, all the way to positive negative infinity, so that x is an element of the reals. But in the range, in the up and down direction, we know in this case that all values for y must be greater than or equal to the y coordinate of the minimum, which is the, the y coordinate of the vertex. And in this case, we know that all the values for y must be below that or equal to this particular value. That would be the y coordinate of the vertex, so y must be less than or equal to that. And that's how we find the domain and the range of a parabola.